Welcome back everyone. My name is Adnan Chaudhary from OneShot Productions. Today we are going to create an awesome manipulation. So today we are going to use uh, this beautiful girl and we will use the stock of this uh, background uh, forest and the wings and the wisps. So uh so let's uh, get started before we start uh, i want to say that uh, the method of cropping is already described in so many tutorials of uh, one productions so you can check any of them or you can check my previous uh tutorial uh, in which we have cropped an image so it is pretty much awesome and some basic you can use selection tool and then go to refine edge pretty much basic uh, I, i'm just not uh, doing this step because it is very time consuming so i have already cropped this image so this this will this is also included in project file so you can use this uh, awesomely uh, easily sorry and it is pretty much heavy okay so press ctrl 0 to size it up now the file which we will use is uh, hide the top file hide the top file and select the second one and for shadows uh, we will use the third layer which I have already selected like this uh, it is the selection of uh, the uh, some shadowing area of this girl so let's uh, press D to deselect that and hide this thing and select both of these layers and by selecting before you uh, do it next step we'll minimize and uh, let's import our background in Photoshop nice now press ctrl 0 again and now we will we have already selected these two layers now we'll pick and drag this on our background cool now press ctrl T to transform this or we can size it with our background press shift alt and give it a click and make it down as much down as you like very nice take it down we need a little bit more so come on mm, yes okay so zoom it in a little bit more and pretty much nice here a little bit up a bit more accurate this thing okay so press check mark now it will transform the image cool now we will make it more interesting before we do this step we will just hide this thing and now we will adjust this very nice a little bit more is I think required for this so this pretty much awesome looks here a little bit more yes nice now hit check mark okay so we have sized this with our background so a little bit more downside so it looks perfect here nice okay so now we will recover its shadow so we will hide the main layer and open the second layer press sh control shift and u to make it 
black and white come on proceed please oh come on yes press ctrl shift and u nice now what we have to do is uh, we will recover the shadow now we press ctrl l from our keyboard it will bring it up and we will now scale this up don't take uh, uh, your eyes on that we'll just uh, interested about this area now shadow is completely recovering nicely a little more dark color so it could be more detailed nice looks perfect so 0 0.40 and 149 or you can increase this to 150 hit ok now we will change the blending mode to normal from from normal to uh, multiply because we want to hide multiply layers or white la white color so now we will turn it on turn it on now by selecting the shadow press e from your keyboard to call up your eraser tool or select from keyboard and size it up change its hardness to 0% and try to remove as lightly as it should as you can nice now same thing we will apply on our a little bit more cool very nice now but you can see that this is pretty much more uh right so we will turn this color off a little bit so hit ok now we will create a new layer again or we can press ctrl j to copy this and turn down its opacity to about six percent now we'll create a new layer again press b from our keyboard and uh, size it up and the hardness should be about right like uh, 30 percent 13 percent and now we will spread this on our down area try to make it more long shadow because it looks like a realistic effect or shadow nice now a little bit more nice now you press normal to soft light and a little bit color offset should be more aggressive now you can see that before and after things are looks interesting now you can see that it looks pretty much same uh, with respect to shadows okay so now what we have to do is we will match these colors for matching these colors uh, before we match these colors first look is that we will use uh, color corrections uh, for the color corrections we will select all of these shadow layers and press ctrl G and call this as shadows nice now we will select uh, effects and go to vibrance to give it some vibrant color now press ctrl alt and make it its clip mask and change it to about right where it looks perfect but it is not looking awesome until we will increase the saturation so increase the saturation and check the color resolutions you can see that some whiteness is uh, still uh, coming out but don't worry about that we will take a look at uh, later so we will hide this thing nice now what we have to do is we will simply uh, zoom it in why it is not zooming come on what's going on here it is not zooming so press control plus and now we will uh, press control plus again and now we will select our layer 
and what we have to do is we will simply just press ctrl and click on this clipping ma uh, mask layer it will mask this thing but you can see that it is still selecting this side area because we didn't uh, erase this area so we will zoom it out by pressing plus or minus and a little bit more and now we will nice now we will hide come on now we will erase this area like this press D and now we will select this but still it is selecting the sides so we will select this one also delete that press D and now we will select try to select this but it is not selecting this thing so we will select this and select this now go to selection and go to inverse no now we'll press J very nice we got what we want so you can see that a little bit whiteness is uh, still not showing you can see that before and after so what we have to do is we will simply create a layer mask zoom it in and just only give press B from your keyboard and just only give uh, come on why what is going on with my PC uh, nice okay so we will do it manually because short keys are not working why what the hell is going on with my PC so sorry for the inconvenience so we are now erasing this by pressing uh, selecting our brush tool and selecting the foreground as black and basically we are hiding the white color simultaneously and great don't be worried about that we didn't need to erase it completely now you can see that something whiteness is still showing in the background so we'll zoom it in uh, zoom it in until we show uh, seeing the pixels and now we will press minus and only delete the white area you will easily do this because it is a pixel view nice you can see that it is pretty much nicely erased now we will zoom here in and we will do the same thing on that and great don't be worried about that we can recover this thing but first we have to do the step oh come on nice okay so pick this up and tweak this erase this also so we have erased a little bit more perfect than usual I did not even practice this thing so if I have done something wrong please please don't mind about that okay so cool nice now what we have to do is we will simply uh, make it more accurate so we will give some background corrections before we go to background we'll go to effects and go to uh, we can say research durations we'll select and give it same thing what we'll do is we'll simply just increase the lightning and color corrections like this nice now what we have to do is we'll select our background layer and give it some vibrance vibrance and increase the vibrance a little bit and oh no no, no don't touch this even simply just increase the dark color of the background nice now what we have to do is it is not still look like what we want but uh, before we do this step next step we will just uh, use our wings which we want to use them okay so here are wings which we one we will use first I think it should be uh, this one okay so for you first select this 
Come on, my PC is pretty much slow. Pick and drag it into our main uh, project. Nice. Now we'll select and make it screen. Pick this up and very great. Don't be worried about that. We will complete this step giving it corrections. So nice. Now we will rasterize this layer. Press J, press T, and rotate this horizontal and select the sides. I know you are thinking that it is not perfect, but we will select the colors and we will match them. Don't be worried about that. I just want to complete the things which we want to use in our project file. So we'll take these uh, two things and drag them under this. Now what we have to do is we'll simply press Ctrl E from our keyboard and select the normal to screen. I think yes. Now go to filter and camera raw filter. It will take a little bit time to load. We are waiting for this. Okay, so it is loaded. Now we will increase the temperature a little bit and increase the exposure a little bit and highlights a little bit. Shadows decreased, whiteness increased, blackness increased, and a little bit clarity. Vibrance, make it more accurate and go down and increase this thing also. Okay, so we have temperature plus 8, tint is 0 and let's tint it up. Yes, now tint is minus 9, exposure is plus 0.55 and contrast is 10, highlight 8, shadows minus 10, whiteness is 7 minus plus 7 and blacks are plus 5 and clarity is plus 22 and uh, vibrance is 38 and the saturation is 14. So hit OK. Now it blow up the colors. Nice. Now what we have to do is we'll use the wings. Wings are pretty much important. So we'll drag this directly. But you can see that these are look so smaller tiny wings. But we can increase the wing size by pressing shift and holding it. Nice but you can see that it still not looks perfect we'll size it down a little bit and a little bit more so where it looks perfect now what we have to do is we will simply just rotate a little bit uh, like its shadows uh, more great this thing is looks perfect so we will hit check mark and we will select our uh, we can see that uh, polygon lasso tool polygonal lasso tool and now we will select and it is the sorry we will make a selection and press ctrl shift and j but it is not working very well so we will press and rasterize this press ctrl shift j and we have a separate layer of one wing and a separate layer of second wing so you can see that this thing but press ctrl z and press ctrl t now we will rotate this up like this and pick this up you can see that looks great but we have some issues here wings are looks like not perfect but we will make it perfect cool nice still awesome and hit check mark now what we have to do is we'll simply just do a step of shadows we'll press b from our keyboard size it up to give it our shadows we will select both of these layers and press ctrl g and call it as wings and same thing uh, we will check this is uh, we did not even check that we have a wrong connection between them so we will select this and select these 
wisp and press control shift and j now we will take it a little bit outside from our uh, normal layer and turn them on now we'll tweak this up again so it can work fine nice okay so it looks not real but we can make it real more realistic so we will create a new layer right above on wings and press b from our keyboard and come on and now we will select our hardness to 10 percent and let's give it some shadows looks not so awesome so we will try to make it more accurate same thing will apply on that now what we have to do is we'll simply just have some issues about shadows nice okay so we'll make it soft light and press J from our keyboard to make it a copy of this layer alright now we have wings uh, we have fixed our wings behind this girl and to make it more accurate we will press shift uh, we will create a copy of this background press shift and select all of these layers and press ctrl G and call it as main uh, work nice now we will create a copy of this group and change it to smart object mm, come on okay nice now the thing we have to focus is that we will convert it to rasterize layer and press B from our keyboard sorry we will uh, we can say that uh, whiteness we will decrease the whiteness so for this we will choose dodge and burn select the burn tool and exposure should be 12 percent now press on this now it looks more realistic you can see that and same thing applies on hand so try to increase this 22 percent and nice same thing imply on hand again and on this hand but this hand is not perfectly working so we will we'll just apply on this hand so uh, again we will decrease the whiteness so cool and working very fine so i have decided to make it more awesome so what we have to do is now we will go to its top hairs and select them more accurate and make it also with the situation so cool uh, don't touch the hands nice now we will create a copy again and go to filter and go to camera raw filter it will take a little time nice now what we have to do is we will simply just zoom it in and size this temperature up and exposure up and contrast a little bit contrast but don't be worried about exposure and shadows should be increased and clarity should be increased also whiteness also and the vibrance this is the main thing of our project so nice now a simple thing is we will go to our wings and make it more perfect nice blues should be off and hit ok ok so now what we have to do is we will press ctrl j and press i 
go to normal to vivid light now you'll go to filter blur and gaussian blur this should be 40 percent uh, 40 pixels and hit ok now go to filter other and high pass cool now it's on 35 looks cool but i think it should be 35 hit ok nice now we will go to effects and choose the color balance let's see what's going on it's in color so we will give it a final touch but i think it should be zero come on press and zero and zero and zero we will not touch this we will choose the highlights no don't we don't need that we will choose the shadows and 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 let's tweak this and play with it i don't think so it looks cool so we will delete this what we have to apply this we should choose the curves and let's select the come on it is not curve okay so it is curve uh, let's don't touch this nice it looks cool here very nice now you can see that it is pretty much blended with the color so now we will give it a final touch with vibrance for the vibrance we can choose and tweak this and a little bit more very nice okay so what we have to do more about that we will select all of these layers again we will create a group of this and by pressing uh, control G and now we'll call this as effects nice now you can see that now we'll copy of this effects oh come on V and copy these effects now press E control E and now what we have to do is we'll create a copy again we'll go to filter blur and Gaussian blur nice but not 40 we will choose it as 8.2 or we can say 5 very nice hit ok now we will uh, make it more dreamy and fantasy looks cool so we'll uh, stop this at on 35 percent nice looks amazingly dreamy wallpaper and a little bit more down so it could be more so much and now we'll select press ctrl and ctrl g will creating group so it could be much better to modify all of these things so now we will call it as uh, second blur nice get a copy of this pressing ctrl e what we have to do is here is we will simply go to dodge and bar tool again and don't be worried about that we will just need to give it some exposure 12 but we will only hide one or hide the whiteness so we will only hide whiteness here and here great okay so a little bit more uh what were we go what we are going to do is we will go to filter blur and uh where is blur gallery and it is blur nice 
now we will focus on our main and make it long and a little bit downside and make it more closer now we will decrease the expose uh, blur opacity to about like uh, 8% is much or 7% or 6% is enough so hit ok okay so we are about to complete our project uh, but I think we should give it a little final touch so for the final touch we will use a camera raw filter so let's proceed to the final stage we will create a copy to see before and after results but we can do it with our uh, smart filters but I will also convert it into the smart object through this we can uh, view the before and after view so let's have a copy of this and go to filter and camera raw filter very nice okay so let's have a final look on this great now what we have to do is we will simply just start our calculations so we will use temperature of I think it should be minus 1 and the tint should be minus 3 great now it should be plus 0 0.65 so let's give it 0 point plus 65 okay so 0 point plus 65 and then I think it should be better on 20 22 I think yes okay so highlight should be plus 8 and uh, shadow should be minus 23 so go to 23 where is great now whiteness should be 0 and blackness should be minus 49 uh, or 50 and the clarity should be 0 percent and the vibrance should be minus 16 so minus 16 and the next situation is zero percent so sorry vibrance is minus 16 uh, minus 16 great okay so now what we have to do is we will use parameters the parameters not point but parameters okay the highlight should be zero percent as it as it is and now the light should be plus 18 uh, great the other settings are as they are now jump to the FX panel so here we have our FX so we will choose highlight priority and now the amount is minus 27 so minus 27 here we have minus 27 come on mm. uh why it is not stopping on 27 so we are on 27 nice okay the next one is 66 so let's give it 66 uh, cool now go to minus 34 the roughness is minus 34 so let's go to the minus 34 very nice no the feather is 93% so let's give it the feather of 93% very nice and the highlight is 58% okay so here we have our final image I hope you all got these calculations and hit ok and here we have the final preview of our amazing and awesome uh, wallpaper so here we have completed our manipulation so you can see that before and after effect so here we will name this as camera where is camera raw okay 
so here we can say raw okay so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please please subscribe to our channel and support us help us and we could help you and we can get better sharing good thoughts and great ideas and if you have any great idea please told us and subscribe to our channel again and thank you for watching this tutorial and see you in next take care